I'm Chad Mosley. I'm Dana Mosley. And we are co-assistant directors in the power plant. We've been members for about three and a half years. We were looking for a new church. Um, originally thought that it was a little bit too big. We were looking for something a little bit more personal. Before we left for the first time that we uh, attended, had been invited to the church golf tournament, had been asked to join the parking lot team, and had been invited to Don and Jenny Edrington's celebration of the home team. We both wanted to get involved in, in, the, in the children's ministry in the power plant because we had a daughter that was, was entering that age. And we want to be a good example for her. So her seeing us back here, in the power plant, we want to teach her that, you know, you are to serve. I mean, that's what we're called to do. And we want to teach her that early on so she can take that up through her adult life. Originally, we were, we were told, you know, medically that we weren't going to be able to have kids naturally, but we were, you know, just blessed and a total miracle that, that Jordan was, was born in 2000. Um, and since then, have continued to want to, to grow our family and have another child, and, and that's been you know, seven years now of, of not a lot of results. At the end of 07, we had wanted to be part of Build the Dream, so we had made a pledge, which at the time was a, a stretch for us based on where we were at that time financially, but as the start of 08 and things were starting to get kind of rocky at work, one of us needed to, to make a move professionally. One interview went and met with the COO and the senior vice president and just hit it off immediately, and a lot of the questions that they were asking me, it was almost like I was, you know, quoting things that I've heard and things that I've been taught here at CCC. Within probably six weeks, we had both been um, offered jobs that were both better jobs, better pay, better benefits. One of my desires was to work from home so that I could be home when uh, my daughter came home from school. So four months into the job, they came to me and said, um, you know what? We know that you can do it. You can work from home full time and you just need to come to the office um, on an as needed basis. Everything is going great. A few months later, met with Jenny and talked about moving into a new role here in the power plant and moving into an assistant director role as, as a, uh, a couple. There was never a question. Uh, we complement each other in a lot of the areas that I'm deficient that, you know, Dana's there to, Dana's there to fill in. Fill in yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. In the very beginning of Dece December, uh, was out to lunch with my the same boss and same senior VP that I'd interviewed with, and they let me know that I was getting promoted. They, you know, just really believed in you know who I was and what I brought to the organization and and, and what I stood for. They, they gave me uh, an equity position in the company, and then also got a, a promotion. Was promoted to vice president. That came along with that the the biggest raise I've ever got and and the biggest bonus I've ever got. It's almost the end of 2008. The original Breakthrough the Dream pledge is all, drive is almost over, and now here we are in a position to be able to fulfill that entirely and get ready for the next one. Going into 2008 and our year of Breakthrough, we really wanted, um, we're, we're praying and believing for some type of, of breakthrough or closure in regards to um, you know, trying to, to have a, another baby. And, had, and Dana's been through repeated surgeries and uh, in vitro fertilization and about every infertility procedure that is known to man. Here towards the end of 2008 we we're making preparations to go through another round of in vitro. So I had my calendar out and I was trying to time everything and I knew exactly when and what day everything had to occur. So it has to occur on this day, I'm going to California next week and then you know when the appointments were going to be. So I had it all planned out. Here the first week in January and we're waiting for some things to happen as part of the monthly cycle so we can start the in vitro fertilization process. That cycle wasn't starting and it was really throwing off our plan. Um, we just didn't understand what was going on. So we finally had to go to the doctor and we couldn't start the in vitro process because I was already pregnant. Yeah.